Hello, beautiful people around the world. Just here to make sure you have an okay life. I hope everyone is blessed, well, and healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. Let's continue to spread that love because, hey, you never know what somebody's truly going through. And today, y'all, we are talking about and checking out and reacting to 15 biggest chains in America that will disappear in the months ahead. Oh, man. All right, y'all. And shout out to Epic Economist for this amazing video. I will leave the original link in the description box down below for you guys to check it out for yourself. Without further ado, let's jump straight into this, y'all. And shout out to Jennifer for sending this over in our Discord chat for us to check out. And hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Join the OK Life family. We're wishing nothing but the best in all you guys' life. We've been really heavy in the uh, car market, in uh, you know the EV market these last couple of uh videos so uh, we're kind of just i'm glad we get to kind of just change it up a little bit but man oh man the world we live in y'all spread that love to one another man because it's getting crazier and we're living in sick evil corrupt times man please spread that love to one another let's check out what's going on in this one if you have a favorite store you should probably visit it soon, since some of the biggest, most popular retail chains in the United States are rapidly decaying. Oh, and man. many locations are being shuttered at this very moment. According to UBS, over 50,000 stores are on retailers' chopping blocks, and that could completely change America's economic landscape. And I've seen it these last two or three months. Some of our favorite spots from retail stores restaurants completely sign on the on the door on the uh, on the glass went out of business done for comment down below if you're experiencing the same thing in your area you know you're that you've been going to this place for 10 15 20 years and now they're no 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 more never before in history conditions have been so turbulent for companies and even big names like right aid amazon fresh and big lots are taking extreme measures to try to keep their businesses alive big However, lots. retail ah, experts big lots. seriously doubt the ability of some of these chains to survive the imminent retail collapse that's why in today's video we've compiled a series of retail stores that are at risk of going dark for good in the coming weeks and months and some that are already liquidating all their assets and saying farewell to their customers oh, man. but before moving on we kindly ask you to support our work with a thumbs up on this video and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our big problems the retailer big lots big lots has some big problems the retailer <laughs> offers a huge variety of products across several merchandising categories such as furniture that includes upholstery mattresses case goods and ready to assemble departments the company also covers the whole range of consumer products including beverages groceries candy snacks specialty foods seasonal goods and pet supplies oh this is one of my favorite stores down here where i live in texas um, we've bought a lot of things from this store, a lot of, you know, household things. Um, we've bought a generator that still works to this day, um, a, gener a gas, a, a gas lean powered generator. You know, when everything shuts off, that thing still cranks up. We bought it from Big Lots, y'all. We've at one point we had we had a, um, a living room set from Big Lots as well that we had got rid of not long ago. Well, I think it was just like the. Uh, a chair and a uh, a comforter a set that we had got yeah big lots got you man big lots used to be the store down here and it's still the store down is still hanging on down the street not far from here it's still on the highway over there soft home categories include bedding bath window decorative textile home organization area rugs and other home decor similar to traditional department stores 
It also sells small appliances, tabletops, food preparation, stationary products, home maintenance, organization products, and toys. But despite its massive product range, the chain is suffering with sales down 10% year over year, mm. even as consumers are eager for deals and low prices. Big Lots operates 1,425 stores in 48 states, but hundreds of locations have become unprofitable and may close soon. Mm. This month, the company's CFO, Jonathan Ramsden, announced that Big Lots has plans to close all of its stores in urban centers before the end of 2023. Man. Retail experts are concerned about the overall financial health of the retailer, which experienced a large cash burn in 2022 and is not expected to recover this year. The company lost its largest furniture vendor in November. On top of that, for the fiscal year ending January 31st, the company reported a net loss of $210.7 million, mm. or mm. $7.30 per share. Yeah. Wow. All of this indicates that more turbulence is coming for the chain, and Big Lots loyal customers will probably have to say goodbye to their favorite stores in the coming months. 2. Rite Aid Rite Aid In the spring of 2022, the pharmacy chain reported the closure of 145 stores. Y'all coming down low about Rite Aid. I, we, we don't have one down here where, I, where I'm at currently. We do not have one down here, so... More locations are about to go dark in 2023, Forbes recently reported. The company said over a hundred stores are underperforming for several quarters now. Without providing a specific number, Rite Aid's executives said the closings were meant to significantly reduce costs. The retailer, which reported a quarterly loss of more than $67 million on December 21st, 2022, is now bracing for even greater losses for its fiscal 2023 than it projected three months ago. I think what I would tell you is that there is an opportunity to close more stores. Rite Aid Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer Matt Schroeder told analysts last month on a call to discuss fiscal first quarter earnings. The chain is slowly fading away from the U.S. retail landscape, and before people notice, it may be gone completely. 3. Bed Bath & Beyond uh, If you hoarded 20 This I know this y'all favorite one now. And caught me in there buying stuff for Christmas and buying stuff for people and Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the store right there, man. Wow, let's hear this one. Percent off Bed Bath & Beyond coupons you still have a couple of days to remember where you put them so you can redeem them at stores before the company stops accepting them next week. After limping along in dire straits for years, the retailer finally filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and Man. started to implement a severe cost-cutting measure. The retailer said it will go through complete liquidation and it plans to close all of its 360 Bed Bath & Beyond locations and its 120 Bye Bye Baby stores by June 30th, if a last-minute buyer doesn't rescue it from going out of business. We can't say that this business failure is entirely rooted in economic uncertainty. A series of bad decisions by Bed Bath & Beyond Management led to the chain's demise, and now a massive going out of business sale matched only by Toys R Us and Circuit City Man. in the last 15 years has begun. Moreover, if you're one of the many investors who Bed. piled into Bed Bath & Beyond stock when it was trendy, you should probably sell your shares while you still can. In bankruptcy proceedings, debt holders get prioritized over shareholders, so meme stock traders and retail investors will be left holding the bag. 4. Party City Yeah, it's been a minute since I've been the one, man. But it is currently permanently closed, the one by my house. Man, ain't that something, y'all? Godly. And I had one in there not long. I'm telling y'all, we used to go in there and meet my little brother to get little gifts, man. You know? 
Mama wanted something, you know, I knew, you know, something for the kitchen. You know, it was a good little store, man. Sheesh. Now we got Party City. Sheesh. We're going in and get a balloon. Get them balloons. The little mask. <laughs> you know, Party City used to be the store, man. Ah. But as I'm getting older, you know, things are things are changing, man. Decisions are being made. Profit is not being made. And life is life. -ing. The party is ending badly for Party City. And now the chain is saying farewell to its longtime customers. At the beginning of 2023, the party goods and decorations retailer went bankrupt. The company cited many mm. factors such as soaring inflation and shifts in consumer spending. When the pandemic disrupted in-person party celebrations, the company struggled financially since it relied on social gatherings for revenue. In November, the company announced plans that they were going to reduce the corporate workforce by 19% when it was revealed that losses for 2022 could reach $200 million. Man. On January 18th, it was announced that trading would halt and the stock would be delisted effective immediately. Party City reported a billion dollars in assets and $10 billion in liabilities during the bankruptcy filing. Now all stores are in the process of closing down for good. Mm. They are the most recent retailer to not survive the current macroeconomic tailwinds. Five, Dollar General. No, 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 man. No, bro. Not, not Dollar, not Dollar General. Not, 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 not GG. <laughs> We're going to DG to get some chips. <laughs> some drink. Some medicine. <laughs> hey, man, it got to be, man, you come down here and shut down Dollar General. It's going to be people, uh, uh, uh. A riding and, and, and striking all down the highway. <laughs> Man, not DG, baby. Hey. Store chain is America's neighborhood general store. Dollar General is rapidly disappearing from U.S. cities. The discount retailer recently confirmed it's closing several locations in California, Colorado, Indiana, and Ohio. And the reason may also be the catalyst that drives the entire chain into bankruptcy. According to the U.S. Department of Labor's Occupational Safety and Health Administration, Dollar General continues to expose workers to unsafe conditions. Oh, wow. The U.S. Department inspected a large number of locations and cataloged many serious health safety violations Dollar General has refused to correct. Now, down here in Texas, it's a lot of these locations. One, literally, I can walk to one right now up the street. And every time I go in there, it's people in there. Sometimes it's even packed to where you got to wait in that line because there's only two registers. Yeah. And sometimes they don't, the self-checkout ain't working, so you got to wait. Yeah, they be in there, man, packed. Packed. And it's a lot, and it's it's literally sitting right where, you know, a tons of us middle class are in this location. So everybody's going there. Snacks, groceries. They even sell t you know, shirts and stuff in that, in that location. And appliances, you know, all kind of amazing stuff. So that store is, the, the two stores by my house is always packed. Since 2017, OSHA has issued more than $15 million in fines and cited Dollar General in more than 180 inspections nationwide for numerous willful, repeat, and alarming workplace safety violations related to unsafe conditions. Man. Exposing employees and others to these hazards Man. can be dangerous, oh, OSHA. especially OSHA in gonna get an it. emergency, said the Occupational Safety and Health Administration Regional Administrator Kurt Petermeyer in Atlanta. Dollar General is well aware of federal requirements, but they continue to ignore their legal responsibilities to protect their employees at stores throughout the nation. 
the struggling company is now facing another millionaire lawsuit, one yeah. that can literally push it over the edge. 6. Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning filed for bankruptcy a Tuesday month morning. and a half ago. The company stated that it Tuesday had too many stores, most of them were located in unprofitable areas. The company intends to close out 264 of the 464 stores. Unfortunately, due to decreased foot traffic and in-person sales, Tuesday morning had to file for Chapter 11 protection for the second time in three years. The I ain't never heard of Tuesday morning. Y'all comment down below about this Tuesday morning deal. I ain't never heard of Tuesday morning. Taylor first filed for bankruptcy in 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now its financial strength is extremely shaken and retail analysts question whether or not the chain will be able to survive 2023. Mm. 7. CVS A large chunk of CVS stores will be gone by the end of the year, CEO Karen Lynch announced. The company said... W Walgreens stepping? <laughs> Is Walgreens stepping? Is Walgreens stepping on necks out here? Is that it plans to close 900 stores nationwide. Plagued by declining foot traffic, a weak assortment of products, empty shelves, supply chain issues, decaying interiors, declining sales, and rising competition, Industry analysts argue that the format of CVS stores is getting obsolete and if the company wants to weather the storm that's brewing in the sector, it must rapidly adapt to consumer needs to prove its relevance in the market. Walgreens stepping. Amazon Go and, and Amazon, Amazon Fresh. Fresh. Amazon is in cost-cutting mode as its grocery retail business Disappoints for yet another year. Yeah, it ain't the cutting, retail the, it ain't cutting the cheese. Shuttering numerous Amazon Go convenience stores and Amazon Fresh stores and will stop operating new branches. The company doesn't see a future for its cashier less grocery shops and it's retreating from the segment as it focuses on building a higher market share through Whole Foods, which has over 500 stores still standing. Last month, a handful of Amazon Fresh stores were left vacant, the information reported. As it turns out, the downfall of both chains arrived sooner than anyone anticipated. 9. Nordstrom The retailer is on Moody's Analytics bankruptcy watch list as the retail apocalypse continues to hammer department stores the hardest. The company just shut down its operations in Canada. It's also closing dozens of locations in the United States after sales collapsed by 40% in Man. 2022. Analysts predict the retailer will be under pressure in 2023, especially as another economic downturn begins and its profit margins are further squeezed by a consumer recession. 10. Best Buy This struggling electronics retailer has been hanging by a thread over the past few years and quietly closing more stores each year. Since 2019, over 80 Best Buy locations have disappeared from sight and earlier this year, the chain announced plans to close a higher number of stores. The company did. Damn. I mean, hey, now. I made them okay. Don't worry, running strong. Man, we're gonna go in there and go get some Apple AirPods. We're gonna get that new TV. We're gonna get that new machine that clean up the flow. We're gonna buy a new computer and a new watch. Somebody at that Best Buy right now. Did not reveal the total number of closings. Media reports suggest that at least 600 locations are in financial distress. That is over half of the retailer's footprint in the U.S. In a BizJournals.com article, Best Buy CEO Kari Barry predicted that supply chain issues, rising labor costs, and continued economic challenges could lead to a major manufacturing slowdown that could ripple through the market, she said. Best Buy executives said they expected business to continue to taper. Right now, they're putting their best strategies forward in an attempt to keep the business alive, or at least part of it.
11. The Children's Place The Children's Place will shrink its brick and mortar footprint by half this year. I ain't never been to one. The Seekonkus based children's apparel retailer plans to close 265 stores, but has yet to share any details about which locations will be impacted. The apparel retailer has already permanently closed 586 stores, including 315 dating to the onset of the pandemic. The children's place ended 2022 with 613 stores, that's an 8.3% decrease from the prior year. Right now, only 530 are still open. In March, the Children's Place reported $456.1 million in net sales for the three months ending January 28, 2023. That is a 10.2% decrease from the same period a year ago. It cited the impact of permanent store closures a pullback in consumer spending amid inflation concerns and a weak holiday season in 2022 as factors for the decline. With even fewer locations in the market, its future looks cloudy and the odds of facing a financial breakdown are rising. 12. Corner Bakery Corner Bakery, Corner bakery is a fast casual cafe chain offering soups, sandwiches, salads and pasta entrees along with various breakfast and bakery items like cinnamon rolls, muffins, bagels, and yogurt parfait. If that sounds like a broad menu that doesn't really have any defining specialities, well, that may be part of the problem. The chain finished 2022 with 161 locations, but appears to have far fewer now at about 125. In 2021, over 200 locations were being operated all around the U.S. The company has a debt load of $33.8 million, a legacy of debt taken out in 2017 that investment firm Pangea Group inherited when it bought Corner Bakery from Rock Capital in 2020. The bakery chain has been reporting falling revenue as demand sinks. In February, it sought Chapter 11 protection as it seeks to find another buyer to pay its debt and take control of the company. But considering its poor conditions, the chances that it survives this bankruptcy are very limited. 13. Mattress, mattress Firm Previously, Mattress Firm emerged from Chapter... Man, you going, there don't be nobody in that mug. You walk in there, you make you want to get in the bed. After 11 in 2018 with a dramatically reduced footprint. Now that bedding demand is in decline as consumers cut spending, the company is at serious risk of going out of business. According to Bloomberg, Santa Simons Bedding, a major mattress manufacturer, is planning to file for bankruptcy in the next yeah. few months, which will likely leave mattress firm without a major supplier. In March, Retail Dive listed Steinhoff as having a 53% chance of filing for bankruptcy by the second quarter of 2023. The Man. decay can occur even faster than predicted if consumer demand continues to decline at a 7% rate for another couple of months. Mm. 14. Kirkland's Kirkland, Kirkland has very shaky fundamentals and is what? especially going through trouble with a recession unfolding seeking alpha analysts noted. The company's total revenue has decreased from $634.12 million to $558.18 million in the last three years. Kirkland's is having major difficulties in generating revenues and profits. The home decor and furniture retailer reported disappointing earnings in the past quarter. As sales, gross margin, and earnings have all been taking big hits. Durable goods, including furniture, see huge drops in consumption and manufacturing during recessions, which could pose significant threats to the future of the retailer, the analyst highlighted. Therefore, we will apply a sell rating to Kirkland's stock. Weak store traffic and rising costs have made matters tough for Kirkland's. Its shares have plunged nearly 32% in the past three months, with little chance 
of rebounding in 2023, they wrote. 15. Express. Apparel retailers are particularly vulnerable to the next wave of retail bankruptcies, and Express is at the top of the list. Retail experts say the brand will likely become a casualty of the developing recession. The retailer, which targets women and men with significant disposable incomes in the 18 to 30 age group, has been facing increasing backlash for its clothing's limited number of sizes. The men's business accounts for 43% of apparel sales, but many of their items are extra slim or slim, but uh, nothing for men with uh, a few extra pounds. The female side is 57% of apparel sales, and although it offers some items for women who have a few extra pounds, but most items are for females very careful about their weight. I think the biggest issue is that too many items are just too fashion trendy oriented and are often not something that can be worn more frequently. Just how often can a guy wear a lime green suit? Asks retail analyst Terry Fisher. All of the clothes designed by Express are made overseas, which means they're always slightly behind any new fashion trends because of the longer lead time between yep. designing and the stores actually receiving the product. Since they are highly leveraged, Express can't afford to be wrong on their merchandise, and with their vendors becoming more restrictive in financing, they could be in serious financial trouble in 2023, Fisher warns. At this point, retailers must prove their worth to United States customers and show why they deserve a spot in this increasingly competitive industry. Only the best positioned brands will be able to navigate through the crisis that is developing across the sector, yep. and many will likely die out before the year ends. The stakes are incredibly high, and no one knows what may happen next in the industry. So take the opportunity to go to your favorite store before a black swan event occurs, <laughs> drastically changing the scenario from bad to completely disastrous. Gone. Comment down below, y'all. Comment down below regarding towards this video. Is your favorite store gone? Comment down below, man. The U.S. is rapidly declining, man. It is getting really, really wicked out here. But um, hope y'all enjoyed that. Be sure... To spread the love to one another because you never know what somebody's going through, what they're battling with, dealing with every single day. If their business is going into complete destruction, if their job is is to, if they got fired, you know, I'm wishing nothing but the best in all you guys' life, man. In your marriages, your relationships, your friendships, your love life, your jobs, your careers, your occupation, that you wake up tomorrow with a pay raise. A better salary you know that you get more oppor new opportunities new beginnings wish that in everybody's life man but let me know what y'all think about this video i love y'all and i will catch y'all in the next one peace